Hey friends, we are gonna make an amazing thrift flip. I cannot wait to share with you. This is a thrift store tray that I found on sale for $2, and we are going to change it from this amazing green color to an awesome color that matches this Mackenzie Child's tissue paper. We are gonna add new hardware. It is gonna be so pretty. I cannot wait to show you the transformation. Stay tuned and let's check it out. So first we're gonna just take a little handsaw and remove the original handles. These were wooden and they were just glued on with the little pegs. It was really actually easy to remove them. Once they were completely removed on both sides, I'm gonna use some 120 grit sandpaper to smooth down where they were. Now I have the tray, it's ready to be cleaned off. Just took a little bit of water from a spray bottle and a paper towel and gave it a good cleaning. I'm gonna take a little bit of chalk paint and oops, I did get it all over myself, but you know, that didn't slow me down. I went ahead and used that paint too and um, spread it all over the top and the bottom uh, painted both sides with the chalk paint, paint and gave it a really good thorough coat, um, actually two coats of the paint because the green was quite a strong color. So two coats of chalk paint um, worked really well for this project. I used my heat gun to thoroughly dry all of the paint. Once it was dry, I went back, and this is kind of a tip to use your mister and spray a fine mist of water all over the tray. Once it's wet, I used my brush to actually smooth out any paint lines. You can do this with any painting that you have where you really want a smooth look. So just the trick is adding the water. I went and used my Cricut to print out this really fun saying for the tray. It says, it's the most wonderful time of year, and I felt like that pertains to every day of the year. So uh, I went ahead and weeded the parts that needed to be weeded, and this is actually one of my favorite parts, is to weed the vinyl. Once it was completely weeded, I grabbed this contact paper, the clear, for me to grab the print from, and I used my little Cricut burnishing tool to smooth it all out, take all the bubbles out and make sure that it sticks to the contact paper. And I went ahead and trimmed it down to size so that it would be easier to work with. At this point, I really needed to determine whether it was gonna fit between the two sides of the tissue paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and open the tissue paper. I'm gonna give a link below to where you can find this tissue paper because I love to use it on tons of different projects. All the things you find with Mackenzie Childs can be a little bit pricey, but if you can just find some of these tools like the napkins and the tissue paper, you can just create about anything. I'm gonna use a straight edge and cut it to fit the tray. And then I'm going to actually decoupage it down to each side of the tray.
In order to help me not get the Mod Podge on my hands, I just grabbed a little Ziploc bag and I put that around my hand um, to help keep it clean and easy to smooth out all of the wrinkles when you are decoupaging. So that's just a little, little hint um, from me to you. Okay, so now comes the fun part. We are going to apply the Cricut printout. My saying is ready, and I just have to peel it off the back of the transfer uh, and then apply it to the tray. And it should reveal the saying right in the center of the tray where I want it. I had to give it a little bit of help. It was sticking to the transfer paper a little too well and that is because I used that burnishing tool pretty aggressively to make sure that it would stay on there but if you just stick with it and work with it it will it will come off and then just find the center of the tray I always eyeball everything. You are welcome to measure it out and pencil in with some marks maybe as to where it should exactly go. And then I just reused that burnishing tool again where I just spread it all out and make sure that it transfers from the contact paper over onto the tray. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of this gold wax from a maker studio and I will link it below as well. It's gonna give it a nice finish. It's gonna give it just enough of the gold from the Mackenzie Child's tissue paper onto the tray portion and give it that little bit of kind of um, embellishment that I'm looking for and a little bit goes a long way. So the wax is gonna serve as a sealant as well as a color on this particular project. I love the way wax works because you really cannot mess it up. I just used a regular brush, a dry brush, and applied it with that and kind of just went all over the tray on top of the tissue and everywhere. So be generous with the wax. If um, you feel like you got too much, you are welcome to just wipe it right off. It is the easiest thing to use and it creates a fun little pop of drama to the surface.
Now I'm going to use this ink pad just to get a little bit of uh, contrast to the tray. So I'm just taking a tiny bit of the ink pad ink, the black, and just kind of making the tray look a little bit worn because I like that look. So I used it sparingly and I added a little bit to the corners and a little bit uh, all over the tissue as well just to kind of bring all the colors together. Last but not least, we drilled the holes for the new hardware. I absolutely love the way it turned out. The hardware pops, the tissue paper pops, the saying pops, the wax pops. I love the entire makeover of this thrift store tray. Let me know what you think in the comments below and if you are inspired to try something like this. If you love this project and things like this, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel, Southern Crush at Home.